There are two types of widgets, the, um, the heading widget and the paragraph widget. Uh, we, um, let's see, the other types of widgets that we have are what? Let's see, we have heading, we have a, uh, we have a list widget, and presumably the list widget uh, is, um, uh, allows us to take a, some text and interprets the text uh, as a, as a um, new line separated or comma separated list of, of pieces of text, right? And then, and then, and then it renders them as, as uh, line items, right? So let's, uh, let's see what that might look like, how it might build out. So we had in widget, we, we already took a look at that. We looked at the paragraph widget. Um, uh, there's the, also the image widget. Uh, and there's the link, the link widget. So, uh, so let's, uh, let's, let's, let's play around with this one, the, 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 list, the list widget. Uh, so let's, uh, let's add uh, a new type of widget here in the uh, widget reducer. So this will be of type of list widget. The, um, then we, we might say whether it's uh, ordered or unordered. So we'll say ordered, ordered, and this might say true. So if it's ordered, it will render as one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. If it's if it's unordered, it'll render just as bullets. Yes. Right. And we can we can use that one single variable to to control that. And and then here <coughs> here uh, we might have all the different items. So my, this might be item one. Might be the first the first uh, line item. New line. So my new line will be my separator of these line items. Right. Presumably, I like to have a, a an input field, a text area where I can type all my line items, they're separated by new lines, and then I can, I can then maybe split it, right, and then iterate over an array of, of these items, right, so item one, uh, item two, and item three. Okay? Um, all right, so, so right now, uh, notice that uh, it doesn't render, it renders us nothing because there's nothing to render. We don't have a widget specific to that type. Right, so it renders as just an empty, as an empty bullet. Yes? Right, it's not a heading widget, it's not a paragraph widget. We don't have a widget for it. That's fine, let's, uh, let's take a look at that. Let's, uh, let's create another wid type of widget right here under the components. We'll call it um, uh, JavaScript here. Uh, it will be the list widget. Right, and this might be a um, uh, import the React from React. And this will be a const. Uh, we'll call it the list widget. And it'll render a widget that we are going to pass as argument with the jet. And for now, just to make sure that it actually renders, we'll say just h3, h3 list widget. And we're going to export this uh, to the default, uh, the list uh, widget. There we go. Now, all right, so now if we go back and refresh, uh, we haven't yet loaded it from the um, from the widget list at, uh, component, right? We we have to do the same thing here, right? Uh, we're going to add now another predicate here that if the type is list, is that the type? I forget. In the reducer, what do we call it? Yeah, list. If the type is list, then we are going to render the list widget component. All right, there we go. There's our list widget rendering its default as an H2 or H3. All right, so what do we want to do here? In the list widget, what I'd like to be able to do maybe is that we have the text, and we know that the text is formatted in such a way that it has a, a, a new line, right? That the, my items are separated, are broken up by line items. So the, the rendering should be something like an, a, um, either as a UL or as an OL, right? Depending on whether it's ordered or unordered. Uh, so we know how to do that. Uh, so let's uh, let's just look at what this might look like. So we have uh, an li uh, of uh, item one, two, three, two, three, four, or uh, three, four, five. Right. So now it's rendering as a line item. There they are. Right. That, so that that that's rendering fine. So but but we want to have two versions of this. Right. Depending on whether it's ordered or unordered. Yes. Uh, so we know how to do that. We can uh, wrap this in a div. Let's say let's wrap this in a div. And, uh, and in here, right, depending on whether it's ordered or unordered, we're going to re uh, uh, render one or the other. So we could do something like um, uh, widget dot ordered, right? So if it's not ordered, if it's not ordered, then we're going to render this UL. 
right? Otherwise, we're going to render the another version of this, right? So if it is ordered, then it would be oh well. Yes? Make sense? All right, so notice that if I go back, uh, notice that it, it, indeed it is ordered. Right? So that's why we see the one, two, three, right? But if we change the state, we change the state in the reducer where the order is false, right? Notice that it renders as just bullet points. Make sense? So the order can, can drive that. It can drive that. The next part is that uh, what about rendering the actual items? They're not hard coded. Instead, they are, it's just a plain old string, right? It's a plain old string which is separated by new lines. So we could do that. We could say, um, we could take a look at the, um, we could take at the, uh, we could take a look at the widget text. We know the text is, uh, is broken up by line, uh, new lines, right? We could split it. We could split it. Right? We could give it the character by which we want to split. Right? This returns an array. Right, that returns an array of all the items, right? all the, the strings split into multiple items. And then we can just map through this. Right? We can map through this, and we have each one of the items. And we can then, uh, for the items, basically just return the li, or the line item, uh, and close this here, close that there. Right? And, uh, and here would be just what, right? Which just would be the item, the item. Let's see. And it didn't work. What? Uh, split item. Uh, it's not ordered. One, two, three. Oh, item. Oh, I'm sorry. This should be an expression. Item. There we go. Item one, two, three. See that? Uh, and if we change the uh, if we change the, uh, the the type, whether this is the order is true, right? Notice that it still renders the old content. So we need to replicate this twice, right? This this content. We're going to replicate this content twice. We're going to grab this. Oops. And put it here. Paste it. Oops. What? Copy. And paste that here. So in both cases, uh, it's just iterating over that array. Make sense? Ever so good? Right? Okay, excellent. 